All right. Looks like Avid is listening to us. They just released that newest update. And I ain't gonna lie. I ain't mad at it. Bolo! All right, so Avid has just released the new 2025.6 update. And the biggest thing about this update is that they now have splice integration, which is a big move because, of course, you guys know I've been very vocal about Pro Tools over the years. And, you know, I was looking for a more complete program that could not just be a great recording and mixing program, but could also be a program that could be pretty much like an all-in-one. You can record, you can mix in it, you can make beats, you can sample in it, you can do everything because right now, just me, I believe that a lot of programs have to have those features in it. And right now with the Splice integration, I truly believe that they're moving in the right direction. Now, I'm not saying it's completely there, but I am happy that they did at least get the splice integration. You know, that's one thing that a lot of us producers can use. And that's one thing that a lot of people already use, whether you like it or not. A lot of people use splice and they use it every single day. They use it on a lot of big records. And now with this splice integration, it really looks like Avid is trying to step up Pro Tools to being a more complete program. Some of you guys may already say it's complete, but for me being a producer, I would love to have the Pro Tools sound engine and for me to be able to produce and for me to be able to do everything that I do and just like all the other programs. And like I said before, this is a step in the right direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Pro Tools. I have a really quick beat that I did make into it and I'm gonna show you guys how to use the splice integration if you guys do not already know how to use the splice integration inside of Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the splice integration inside of Pro Tools, and uh, hopefully it's something that you like, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. All right, so we're in Pro Tools right now, and I have a quick beat that I made. Um, some of the sounds I used, I used, uh, what's this, the Augmented Grand Piano, um, from Arteria, and I use the uh, augmented um, Yangtze in here as well. And then for my drums, I actually use Contact because they don't really have like a sampler that's like um, a one where you can play all of your one shots across the notes that, you know, I actually like. They do have something in here like that, but they don't have nothing that's like a real sampler to me. And uh, so I use contact. That's the way I used to do it back in the day on another program when I was trying to make beats. So like right here, um, I have this one highlighted. This is my snare. So if I go into contact, um, open this up, it's my snare and it goes all the way up. All right, so I got my snare right there. And then on the next track, I have my 808. All right, so that works. And then I think I have a hi-hat on this other one. So yeah, I got a hi-hat and everything. And I made, you know, just a really simple beat so I can show you guys, you know, how to use Splice with this if you guys don't already know how to use it because there's already been some videos using it. So here's the beat right here so you guys can check it out. All right, like I said before, just a very simple beat, okay? So if you're somebody who is not that good at playing chords or you just can't find certain melodies, you can come up with something very simple like this, but still take the melodies and throw them in the splice. They'll analyze it for you, and then they'll give you some suggestions for you to add to the beat. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up splice, and what we can do is go right down here and then we can press this little arrow right here and it opens up clip editor. Most of the times you're gonna see just the clips right here. 
But as you guys can see, it has splice right here. And then we can just open this. Now, if you don't see splice, just go right to this little arrow and sometimes it's unchecked like this. And then all you have to do is just check it and then splice will go ahead and open up. So we got splice right here, all right? And we wanna make a counter melody for the uh, melodies that we already have, okay? Now, this is what I do wanna say. Before you slide this thing over, what I do recommend is to mute the drum parts because it's gonna pretty much read the whole beat regardless if you slide this in or not, okay? This is what I just noticed on my end. If I did slide just these two parts in, it's gonna read the whole beat either way. So I pretty much just want the splice to read just the melody part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna slide these over, and then now it's gonna analyze everything and then it's gonna give us some suggestions just strictly off the melody part rather than the whole beat part. So now when I play the reference, it just has the melody part. If I did not have these muted, it was gonna read the whole beat. Now, I don't know how it's gonna be in future updates, but that's just something that I just found out. So make sure you guys, if you don't want certain elements to be analyzed through Splice, just make sure you guys go ahead and mute them out. What I got right now is I have some suggestions that Splice gave me, it's in the correct key. And what we can do is we can basically just kind of play the whole beat and find something that we like that's gonna fit inside of this beat. So I found two of them already that I like. So what I can simply do is just take these and I can drag this one right here. And there's another one right here, I think it was this one. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna drag this in as well. And we can just drag it directly onto the track. So now that we have those, we can take these and duplicate these. All right, so now that we have everything in here, I had to adjust the volumes and everything, let's go ahead and play it back with the new sounds that we have in here. So now that we have that in there, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it real quick and I'm gonna play you guys back, you know, a kind of a completed beat, you know, just gonna arrange it real quick so you guys can check it out. So let me go ahead and do that. And with the power of editing, let's go ahead and check out the completed beat. All right, so what you guys think? Not too bad, you know? I'm actually kind of impressed on what they're trying to do. Now, like I said, it's not perfect, but it is a step in the right direction. So I want you guys to let me know how do you guys feel about this? Is this a step in the right direction or do you feel that it's not needed? Or do you feel that yes, we do need to have some more tools for production and hopefully, you know, maybe we can get some more updates to make this thing a little bit more streamlined for producers. Y'all let me know and we can have a conversation in the comments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.